Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining me. We're back in Oakland Zoo today and we're going to be working with our red foxes again. Uh, so I started this in the last episode, this uh, this red fox habitat. We have, who do we have? We have Nigel and Abby in here. Obviously an awful lot I still need to do in the habitat. And one or two things that I want to change that I've already decided that I don't like. Um, so the shelter here I don't like and it's uh, it's too boring, too plain needs a bit of work so let's do that first um, so what I'm thinking is because it doesn't actually count as a shelter yet unfortunately um, which is really annoying so I'm thinking it needs all of this um, lowered I think that that may be part of the problem is that possibly it needs to be lower I may, I may even have to take it right down like that I should have just lowered the whole thing really but let's do that let's get rid of that right now I'm just gonna see if that class is at a shelter now um, I don't know why it wasn't before let's have a look shelter no it still doesn't count as a shelter okay well I'm gonna make a few more changes to it as well so I'm thinking I'd like to whoa hang on I'd like to extend this front. Hang on, let me get the angle snap on. Um, yeah, I'd like to have it coming a bit more out the front like this. Oh, I don't know what this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why that is not letting me just drag that across. Look at that, that's just crazy, isn't it? Right, let's. Um, that's all right, let's do it the long winded way. So this is the sort of thing I'm thinking of just to make the whole thing just that little bit bigger actually if I let's see if I move if I copy this slot out to there let's move this piece out so that it is actually on the outside let's just drop it down as well And then, uh, yeah, that's not quite going to work, is it, doing it that? Um, <clears throat> actually, if I shrink the grid size down, let's see what I can do here. Yeah, there we go. I can just bring it out to there. Right. And then I can get an extra bit of hay in there as well. Just makes the whole thing uh, a little bit bigger, which I think will help. Still doesn't class as a shelter. I, I don't know why. I don't know what you have to do to have something count as a shelter. Um, but I know they can go in it. But yeah, I think that looks better now. It's a bit bit smaller and a bit <laughs> a bit lower, I should say, and a bit bigger. Um, oh, hang on. I just need to duplicate that piece forwards, actually. Something like that. Actually, I'm going to need a side piece as well. So let's just grab that and put it along the sides. Just so it looks nice and strong. Like a well-built structure. There we go. Um, I'm purposely leaving this side open, but I will put some foliage down in here as a sort of a, a little barrier maybe just just between the public and the animals <coughs> good okay right so the other thing that I have done off camera is um, I have made some pictures so I am thinking of having um, some um, some media boards here with pictures of the animals on so what I'm going to do I want to create a small um, some kind of a small display thing that I can repeatedly use through the whole zoo um, so something like this so uh, yeah something that has a frame so it's going to be quite a simple thing I just want it you know customized by myself so that it looks decent 
Um, so yeah, I haven't had any feedback on the previous episode of this yet um, because it's not gone out. I'm recording this on Sunday. So there's still a little bit of um, a gap between me recording uh, an episode and then putting out an episode, if you see what I mean. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get ahead of myself a bit and, uh, and get a few few episodes in the bank, you know. Um, so I have no idea what you think of, of, uh, of my Red Fox's habitat from the last episode, um, but hopefully you will like what I do in this episode. Right, let's bring that over to here. So it's a very simple little thing, just that basically. I think that's that's good. And then what I can do is, whoops. Oh, hang on. Where are we? That is, yes, good. Right, so then what I can do is have this. Uh, let's get rid of the angle snap. And I can just place this wherever I feel it's appropriate for each habitat. So in this case, I'm thinking I'll do one there. I'm not sure why it's sunken into the ground. It's kind of annoying. And then I'll do one on here. Something like that. And then I put pictures in um, in the right folder so I can access them. There we go. So I took a couple of screenshots. I went into my editing program and put their names on. So you have Nigel and you have Abby. So it's telling people who they're looking at basically, which is what you get in English zoos. We, we like to name all the animals and make sure that people know their names and a bit of history about them. Um, in fact, what I could do is I could use my little blueprint, couldn't I? This little, little thing that I do so often. It is quite large, um, but I'm okay with it. I think I can make it work. I'll put that in there. Um, kind of suggesting that there's a little bit of information there about the two animals that are in the enclosure. Yeah, that's cool. like that. Cool. Okay, so the habitat itself definitely needs some work. So what I want to do, because it's on a slope, I want to do a bit of rock work, but I don't want to use the normal rocks. I want to try and come up with new things. Although this isn't that new. I've done this before, but I really like this piece. Um, all of these, these rock pieces here. Well, they, you know they're fake rock but they they look they look good if you if you get them like this and kind of do a whole load of twisting around um, you know try and try and get the um, the different pieces showing and then maybe just swap to a different one something like that what else have we got here wow that's a huge piece there let's get that in kind of combine it all together and you can create like a a different looking rock um, a rock piece like that uh, and then what I'm thinking is see if I can almost create like a little tier of uh, of land up here. I have no idea how this is going to look. I'm just wondering if I can colour these actually. Let me just. Yes, I can, can't I? Yeah. I'm wondering if the grey is the right colour. Whether it should maybe be darker or even lighter. No, the lighter doesn't work in this environment. How about brown? No, that's too brown. How about different brown? What have we got here? Brown is always the hardest colour to find. I, I, I always struggle with my browns. I guess I'm looking for something... No, see that's too orange. That's too sandy. I just want a nice mud colour I guess almost like it's not rock like it is actually mud is the sort of look I'm going for okay 
think that's a bit better. Just wondering, yeah, I can just about use this side as well. I think that looks okay. With something like that, and then flatten off the land just behind it is what I'm thinking. And then I can do something similar again here. Um, something like that. Right, and then this is the tricky bit, is then trying to get the land flat. So if I do flatten to surface, no that doesn't work. Flatten to foundation. Yeah, I think that's what I need. So you've got to try and judge it just right so that you're in line with the top of that soil there. Something like that. And then the same up here. Something like that. So yeah, I, I don't mind all of this at the back here because I can do some painting. See how it looks. I mean, it might look terrible, but hopefully not. Once you've got some more decoration on it as well. Don't mind there being a bit of grass. I don't really want all this long grass though, because I'm gonna I'm gonna do foliage to create long grass. Yeah, I quite like this piece actually. This it, do, it does look suitably kind of muddy, doesn't it? I think what it needs possibly is even a bit more. Yeah, kind of, kind of down here, kind of finishing off the bottom bit like this as well. Yeah, I think that would look nice once it's all integrated with more foliage as well. Oh good, our foxes are sleeping down here, that's what we want to see. Happy foxes, good good. I hope... Ah, now why isn't the food tray being used? Inaccessible? Inaccessible to who? Is it saying that the foxes can't use it? Oh it is, okay. Um. Okay. Why is this? Maybe I need a smaller one. Let's come back into here and try a smaller one. No. Okay. Not sure what's going on there. Let's no. Over there, no. Hmm. I think my game's broken. Inaccessible. Why on earth would it be inaccessible? Suitable. Red fox. There's a red fox. And it can walk all over it. So why, why, why is that inaccessible? Am I doing something stupid? Am I being a moron? It could be just that. <laughs> I don't know. I do not understand what's happening here. This is absolutely bizarre. Why is that inaccessible? Um, let's see if I put a water dish down, what it says about that. Hang on, let's just make sure I'm on Red Fox. Right, a water bowl. Oops. <coughs> Inaccessible water bowl. Makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Inaccessible. Yeah, I think my game's broken. Um, because that, that's clearly something is bugged about that. Um, I'll leave it for now. I just won't have a food tray down. I'll see if I can fit one in at some point. Um, I may just have to reload the game because it seems like something is bugged. There we go, that's life. Um, 
Right, so structure-wise, that's I'm happy with that. That looks really nice, actually. Uh, and the foxes, let me just double check that they can get all around it. Yeah, they can't go on this bit, but that's fine. They can get up the top, they can go along there. Nice, okay, that's good. Um, actually, do you know what, I might, because I've just created a little sort of flat area here. I may just, just add a little bit of, um, a little bit of this over here as well, just just because that's already like that, I think it will look all right. It's kind of already flat there. Uh, and then I can put on um, a bit more enrichment for them. Uh, so what could go in here? How about a dog ball in here? Uh, maybe a cardboard box. This is like their little play area and how about another food one there we go right are these going to be usable right those it seems to think that all of those are usable so that's good we're making a bit of progress uh, I don't mind if they feed them up there. I don't need to put a food tray down. I just thought it'd be nice to have the food tray down here so that people can see them eating. Um, but yeah, inaccessible. Very strange. I'm not sure what's happening there. Oh, look, it's got in the box. <laughs> Fox in a box. That is so good. I love that. <laughs> okay, so foliage wise, what do I want to do in here? Let's have a look. Um, I want to get a whole load of grasses in oh wow what is that that's a new grass oh look at that that's really nice isn't it wow these are these are ones i hadn't noticed before that is a beautiful looking grass what do we got oh and that right I'll tell you what i want to do actually let's get rid of all of this long grass that's in here i want to make my own because I'm making this a smaller zoo, I am going to try and do more detail on things like the foliage. Because I can, I, I'm, I'm going to have less overall. I think I can get away with having more, um, more stuff in each enclosure. See, so look at that stuff. That is amazing. That looks fantastic. Really nice and wild looking. That's what I want in these habitats. Oh yes, this was the saltwater. I like that as well. That's a nice looking bush. What is that? Common grapes. Wow, you've got bunches of grapes. Cool. Not really relevant, but you know, kind of cool. I can I can use a lot of these grasses, can't I? These are a really nice variety here. All sorts of things here that aren't grasses. You see, I love all these things as well. They do look good. Periwinkle. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at that. Like a dead grass nice sorry i'm just discovering all these things for the first time they, they must have creeped in in the last um the last upload uh upload is what i'm talking about dlc and uh, i hadn't spotted them right well i'm going to start i think with these new ones up here that looks awesome doesn't it i really do like that gotta be careful though because it's clearly quite a a substantial plant this one so yeah you don't want to be swamping the place with stuff like this this is this is more of a, a feature item you know just just get some dotted around the place actually now what i'm going to do as always i always forget to do this is get them all linked together so if you don't like them, you can get rid of them nice and easily. I'm also, before I keep going, is gonna I'm gonna check the traversable area because you don't want to put stuff down that's blocking them. I don't think that is. Certainly not there. It seems to be actually that big one does seem to block them a little bit there, so I'll have to be careful with that. But on the whole, that seems fine. So I'll get some more in over here. Not too much because this is quite big and in your face actually this one. So I do want to be careful with it. Uh, 
Right. Um, now, what else was there? This one. This, yeah, this is a nice one. Look at that. Now, this one I want a line to surface because I can put this all over the the hillside. Um, I think what I want to try and do is sort of make it look like there's little little passageways where they walk. Uh, I'm just wondering, actually. Yeah, this. It's just yeah, it's all riding up a little bit, isn't it? It's not very even. I need to I need to sink it in a bit more, I think. Yeah, I want to I want to make it look like they have their you know their little little walkways through it. Mess that one up. Yeah, so that one got messed up. Always have to be careful when you're working on slopes. You can never be sure if it's actually going to work or not. It is a very nice looking grass. Right, let's continue, I think, up here. Um, probably not too much here. I think this would be kept relatively clear because this is where the, uh, the, the zookeepers come in. Um, and this is li likely to have a load of foliage around it, I would say. So not too much up there either. I'll get a little bit up here. Again, it's the sort of thing that as you put it down, it, it doesn't always look great straight away, but it, it, it will take shape over time as you add more bits and pieces. I'll also uh, put some rocks down. Just keep on layering it basically. So when you when you're doing anything like this, just keep on going. Just keep adding layers and layers and layers. So you want to make it look like they walk around the outside because foxes would. They would have their little sort of patrol routes around the outsides. I think of a habitat like this. A lot of animals do that. They they sort of patrol the perimeters of their their territories. It's quite a realistic thing for them to do. You know, they like to to know what's going on on their turf. Okay, I think we're nearly done with this grass now. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Right, so what else did we have here? Hang on. Did I miss anything up here? Yeah, what was this one? See, that's quite a nice grass, but it's a bit too dead looking. I'd, I'd, I'd like this one to look a bit more lush, I think. So, um, what else is there? Ah, yes, the common saltwort is a lovely looking shrub. Um, possibly a bit too big, that one. Maybe go for the smaller ones. Let's get one or two in here. I think these, yeah, actually, these look good around the um, around the cliff faces here. Not too many of those, I don't think. They are nice, but I don't want to go over the top with them. No, hang on, I need. To, sometimes the sometimes the aligner surface is really helpful, and sometimes it's not. I think in this case it's not. I don't think I need it. But yeah, just there we go. Okay, it's coming together. Um, that's 
possibly too lush. That's maybe too flowery. I do like that. I'm just not sure that it's going to work in here. Although I could mix. Yeah, I could mix a little bit in. Just along the front here, maybe. Yep, that's nice. Let's get a little bit over here as well, actually. It's the sort of thing that would be growing down on this flat bit, I think, but maybe not up on the slopes. It's nice. It's nice to be able to blend bits like that together. Definitely works. Um, that's the sort of green equivalent, isn't it? Don't think I need that. No, I'll, I'll probably get some meadow plants. Um, in there. Oh, look at that. See, that that's that's nice for the water, isn't it? However, I do want to just check the traversable area actually of some of these. Hang on. I can't click on a fox. Here we go. Yeah, so those block traversable area unfortunately. So actually, let's get rid of them it's a shame it really is a shame I really wish they'd take that out of the game is you know have all of the foliage so that it doesn't block any traversable area at all would be fantastic um, yes yeah, so I can't use the elephant grass very annoying that because it is a fantastic piece um, how about yeah a few few bits of meadow meadow flowers as well I love these I will stick to just the one type, I think, because otherwise you could end up looking a little bit over the top. Yep, that's nice. Maybe squeezing a couple up here. Actually, if I do, I think, a line to surface on here, I may be able to get it to look half decent up on here. Yeah, that's fine, actually. That works okay. you just got to keep moving the mouse until you're just in the right spot where you can actually put them down and make it look okay good yeah that's fine right what are these ones don't, no, don't really want anything like that um, that's a nice little shrub I don't mind that get a couple of these down here kind of in amongst hang on get rid of the line to surface again keep forgetting about that yeah this is quite a nice lush green shrub actually that does look quite good couple up here get something up over here Ooh, like a little yellow version of it don't really want that Good. I like this because it really looks like they're they're walking around in the undergrowth quite a lot. Yeah, I like that. Um, I think as far as grasses go, we might be there now. Ah, this is the underwater stuff, which I do like. So let me get some of that down in the water. Nice to see them swimming. Ooh, what is this one? Yorkshire fog grass. Oh, look at that. That looks interesting, doesn't it? I don't think I've got a place for it in here, but it's it's a nice piece. Good. Okay, we're getting there. Right, let's go to our shrubs. And see. Um, okay. Oh, no, it's bush, of course, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, right, let's see what we've got in the lines of bushes here that can work. I really like this this sort of rocky mud effect actually, it does work. Um, but it still needs... No, I tried that one didn't I? still needs something. Yeah, a little bit of lighter coloured stuff, maybe. It'll look good. Again, I'm not going around the edge yet because I'm going to do shrubbery up behind this. 
this area over here definitely needs something a bit more substantial maybe even a a nice tree would look good over here now let's just think a polylepsis tree no okay let's let's leave that for a second let's focus on any shrubs that i want to put in first um do you know what? i don't like those ones they're not working for me i want to keep it really nice and green and english you know i've got to remember i'm trying to make this an english zoo you know what we got a lot of in england don't you bramble bushes our favorite you can't go anywhere in england without finding bramble bushes and they're all right brambles nothing wrong with the bramble No, that looks silly. Um, okay, let's go in here somewhere, try and thicken this up. I want to create these little sort of passageways where the animals roam. I just want to make sure that's not floating. No, that looks fine, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, that's good. Let's get some in here as well. You know, I want it so that the, it looks like the animals can get in behind bits and kind of disappear in the undergrowth, hide away. Good. Um, I like this creosote bush. I'm not entirely sure whether it's an English looking thing, but it, it kind of is, so I'm, I'm going to go with it. Maybe that's uh, a bit too big. Let's go with some of the smaller stuff. Don't want anything too big at the front because I do want it to look like you know people would be able to see in. Um, maybe a nice big one over here. Yep, that looks nice. Good. It's coming together nicely actually. I'm pretty pleased with this so far. Uh, and the animals can still get around everywhere by the looks of it. So let me just double check. Yeah, I mean they're walking around nicely there. Good. The yep, traversable area is still fine. They can get everywhere. That's all good. Um, right. Let's do a bit of painting while I'm thinking about it. So there's not going to be a lot of grass left. Let's be honest. Foxes will walk around a lot in a pen this size and they will just churn up the mud. Uh, the grass, sorry, into mud. So most of this needs to be turned into mud, I would say. With just just the odd sparkle of green. Most of the green is going to come from the foliage, basically. Yeah, that looks much more realistic. Yeah, let's just let's, I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Just um, just get rid of the grass. Just doesn't make sense. For there to be grass in here oh yeah that's much better like that oh that's looking really nice yeah i'm very pleased with that what does it still need of course it needs some logs some fallen trees actually i'm going to do some big trees as well but i'll do them last um, now there is a piece in here which is hang on let me think Uh, it, yeah, the, you've got these these birch sticks as well. Yeah, look at these. These are nice. You see, these are because they're smaller. See, I always I always go to these 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 full size trees, but actually, you've got some nice branch pieces here. Um, and what you can do with these is you can you can kind of connect them all together and create bigger pieces so I'm gonna give it a go see what I can do um, 
let's move that one down a bit and in a bit. Something like that. Let's combine that. And then bits like this, you can then get them and just lie them down. like so. Right now I'm just going to double check that that doesn't block any traversable areas. If I can find a fox. I don't think it does. Hang on let me remove that. No that's something else blocking that isn't it? Oh no it was the log. Ah okay I've got to be careful with that. It is causing one bit there. Okay that's, that's it's not the end of the world. Uh, you just got to be careful with where you put it. Um, yeah, maybe I would be better off going with some some other pieces. But actually, tell you what I might just do. I might just because these, these look good if you sort of combine them, I think. I think it's going to look like a nice sort of log pile, which is the kind of look that I'm going for. Um, just a nice bit of decoration. You know, it's just something a bit different. Nice little log pile for the animals to to climb all over. That's what I'm thinking. Even if it blocks their traversable area, they're still going to be able to go all around it. But yeah, it's just little touches like that. I think add a nice bit of uh, a nice level of detail. And look, here we go. The, see, look at that. The fox can go all right. All, all uh, excuse me, all the way around it anyway. So that is that's good that's what I want to see I want to see the animals interacting with stuff that you put in that looks really nice I'm very chuffed with that actually I'm going to use that again I'm going to make another little pile of these somewhere maybe over here how about the little pile actually let's let's get it here and let's uh, let's flatten it like that and let's get another one Uh, actually, let's turn that like so. I'll get there in a minute. There we go, just a little pile like that. A little pile of logs. Nice. Again, just double check, make sure it's not messing up too much. No, it's not good. Um, and then I probably will actually put in a couple of logs as well. A couple of nice big bits like this um, or possibly the smaller ones would make a bit more sense uh, let's have a look let's try something like this so you want it to look good but you don't want it to block too much that to me looks really nice come on fox where are you there you go let's have a look so it, yeah, it blocks them off a bit there, but they can still come around the front. They can still go over the top there. So I'm not too bothered that they can't go underneath it there, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a shame, but you know, it looks good. That's the main thing. We want we want the uh, we want the habitat to look nice, don't we? Good. Okay, well, this is coming along really nicely. Let's just have a look at some of these, I reckon. Let's see if I can... Yeah, make them a better colour and align them to the surface. Let's have a look. Not sure. Not sure about these. Maybe, maybe in the water actually will look good. Kind of lining the bottom of the water makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I will just do. I'll, I'll put some. I don't know. I'll put something in the water as well, but not sure what yet. Uh, I do like the idea of maybe some over here. Maybe I need to go with the smaller stuff. Kind of creating this little walkway to and from the, the water and the house. I think maybe something like that might look decent. Just got to make sure that they're not 
Again, just blocking the animals from getting anywhere. Nope, absolutely fine there. What do we think of those? I like that. Yeah, yeah. I think that looks nice. It's it's almost like the you know like the zoo have actually had to put them down because these were getting too boggy, so they've had to put some stones down to try and create a slightly harder surface. That kind of thing. I think that that's good. That makes sense. Oh look, he's playing with the box again. <laughs> Fox in a box. Oh, he's destroyed it. <laughs> Goodbye, box. Um. What do I want in the water? What sort of water things are there? Um, I don't think we've got room for a... Oh, definitely not a giant lily. Hang on. If we've got room for a, maybe a small... Little, hang on. Let's get rid of a line to surface. Um, yeah, I can probably fit a little lily in here, actually, can't I? Uh, there we go. And then let's just get a little bit over here as well. That looks nice. That's good. Um, I do wonder whether I can use these around the edge. I don't know if this is going to look good or not. But it could... Yeah, it might, might work. I might do... I'm just wondering whether I want to change the colour. It does look quite nice though, doesn't it, actually? Just creating a little edge around the water there. Just wondering whether I want to do the same on the other side and then just leave the ends open, maybe. Let's bring that up to roughly the same height. See what we can do. I like this piece, it's quite a diverse uh, piece to use actually. It, can, it has quite a few different purposes, I think. Now, a bit of an issue with the land just here. I do like that. It's almost it is it does it almost make it look like it's been dug out, doesn't it, on purpose? So yeah, I'm not I'm not dead against that. Let's see if I can just fill in these little gaps um, with something. Yeah, something like this. It's just gonna cover a couple of those gaps there just blend the whole thing in a bit more I, I really hope they can still go in the water yes good look at that they can swim all the way through it that's great oh I really like that that is coming together very nicely indeed and they've got the little play area over here Uh, this area here is basically just going to stay as it is because this is it like there you know, this is the workman entrance there um, wow I like that I like that a lot I'm very happy with that however actually let's before we finish I forgot I was going to put in trees wasn't I so let me just see the filters on these because I, I want I want Europe and I want temperate so this should now have all the sort of English trees yeah like beech trees because it's an English zoo so I don't want to be putting in silly exotic trees that wouldn't grow in England a nice poplar maybe we've got a common ash that's quite a, a nice looking one mm, not so keen on that one cypresses are good but not really relevant to this habitat Foxes like um, sort of dense, uh, dense woodland, so they would have maybe yeah maybe a, maybe a sycamore. See that's too too big too dense. I, w I want to be able to see what I've done in the habitat. Um, so I'm thinking maybe a beech tree would look nice. Maybe a beech. I get two? No. See, I can do some more up the back here, can't I? I can put some, some nice trees around the outside. Something like that would look good. Um, and then I could maybe have a, a pop like there. See, it's really hiding too much. Maybe I'll just just leave it like that. I don't want to hide all of this, all the, the work that I've done here. Um, like I said, I am going to do foliage around the back, but what I'll probably do is wait until I do another habitat here 
and maybe here and then kind of do all the foliage along the back at the same time maybe or might not because I, I kind of like the idea of finishing this off properly <laughs> I don't know um, i tell you what though I am going to leave the episode there I'm really really pleased with this habitat it's come together very nicely um, please do let me know what you think do you uh, do you like our red fox habitat um, what do you think of my little signs I am going to do something in here actually I'm going to slowly I think probably replace these animal ones here uh, with some things like this that say you know come and meet the our new red foxes Nigel and Abby that kind of thing um, so I will work on that I think in the next episode actually I was going to do something just in here wasn't I before I finish let's do that Sorry, I promise this, this episode will finish at some point, I swear. But I kind of like the idea of this just just having a little bit of cover for them in here. Yeah, nothing quite that big. Um, what else have we used? Oh, brambles, of course. Hang on, I've got... No, brambles. What was this one? Yeah, that's quite a nice one, isn't it? Maybe just a couple of them in there. I d no not completely covered I just wanted yeah just that little bit of shelter like that just to give them a little bit more privacy not a lot clearly not a lot but just enough oh look at that he just jumped out the side that's interesting okay that's good they can still get in there they can get around the whole habitat brilliant okay I am going to leave it there so thank you very much for uh, joining me I do hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have you can hit the like button for me and um, please do leave me any comments and feedback um, that you have uh, you know me I do try to reply I always pay attention as well so anything you've got to say I will listen um, and hopefully you can join me again in the next episode where we will kind of finish this off I probably will do the foliage around the back and I'll try and do a sign somewhere over here and um, yeah possibly work on the next habitat or oh, I might do some detailing here I might do a building here because I need these things really to be in a building here somewhere um, so maybe I'll do that in the next episode uh, but for now I'm going to leave it there so thank you very much and do take care and I will see you soon <laughs>